Welcome to another video for the MicroRooster. Today's topic is conditional formatting. We already discussed thresholds and a lot of people were asking me what is the difference between conditional formatting and thresholds. So I thought, you know, we'll do, do a quick demonstration to show you the difference. It's a little bit different because what we're doing here, we're operating on uh, items that are outside the port itself. To show you this in action, I'm just creating this report just created a month report revenue and I'm prompting on the year at the year so I'm just gonna do a metric revenue and we're gonna have year and month in it let's prompt on the year to have two alright so this is my report simple report revenue year month and different values so now let's start the next part for demonstrating how to add the conditional formatting we're going to create a dashboard or a document that's where you can add those conditional formatting items we're just going to add the report here as is let's insert a text box I'm sure a text box will work either one of those would work any object that's not a, it's not a report would work even a panel add some text to it resize it let's edit the report itself add a threshold just so we can demonstrate the difference between these two items so here let's add a threshold on a metric so this is not the conditional formatting necessarily that we're talking about or that we're demonstrating but I just want to demonstrate the comparison between a threshold and the conditional formatting again the threshold operates on the metric and the conditional formatting operates on an object red let's just make them similar both the conditional and the threshold Right, this should work. Well, we'll just replace it with something too big. If the value is too big, let's rename this to match the same text. So we're showing is we're going to add conditional formatting to this red box here, similar to the threshold that we added inside the report and show you the difference how they both behave differently so now similar to the thresholds we're just adding that condition to the box I'm going to type the same value 1 million but this time what I want if it's less than 1 million in this case so on the opposite if it's less than I want it just to disappear okay you could do it either way, like it's a negative, positive, etc. Like whichever way you want. You can make it disappear if it's less than or appear if it's greater than. Now let's go to the web to see this in action. So I'm going to run my dashboard. Let's edit, look at it first in edit mode. All right, let's just see presentation. All right, so here's the data, the two years. We have December 14 is too big, and we have another value in 2015 too big. Let's try to eliminate those just to see how this operates. Will the will our conditional format thing still operate? Let's remove that one row from 2014 and see what happens to our conditional formatting. So now it's gone. The 2014 has no more values over 1 million, but 2015 does. Go back to our dashboard to rerun it. Keep the two years, sure. And notice now that the value has disappeared for 2014, but our conditional formatting is still holding. It's too big for conditional and in 2015. So let's see where is the what's driving the condition here. Let's modify, let's remove 15 and see what happens now. Notice it is still there. So what do I need to do? let me just do something more drastic let me remove everything and keep one value one month that I know is less than one million okay so I'm gonna keep one value let's just keep one rerun this now I should expect one row when I run this keep the default 2014 only and notice now I have one value less than one million and the condition has affected the box and it disappeared but really what's going on is what is controlling the conditional format? It is actually the subtotal because it is not at the level of the report. It's not just like the, the formatting threshold. So if I add the subtotal here, that will tell you 
what's happening anytime the subtotal is greater than 1 million the conditional formatting is going to keep the box too big it's only going to hide it when the subtotal is less than 1 million so that's one thing you want to be cautious about with conditional formatting they operate at the grand total level of your metric that you're choosing and not at the row level so you will always have to be cautious about at what level do you need your conditional reporting and if you need it at a different level you might want to add filtering to your report before you introduce it to the dashboard thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe